the first thing I want to do is mark our max and min points. Because those points will separate out my graph to its increasing sections and its decreasing sections. I see I have a global min at x equals negative 3. I have a local max at x equals 2. And I have a local min at x equals 4. So if we look at our furthest left section, we see that the graph is decreasing. So we'll use yellow to indicate decreasing parts. The third section then is also decreasing, which means my second section and my fourth section are where my graph is increasing. So the intervals where I'm increasing are from There we go. I'm increasing from x equals negative 3 to positive 2, and then also from x equals positive 4 to infinity. We do use the rounded brackets because right at x equals 4, we're neither increasing nor decreasing. We're at a min. My graph is decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3, and then also from positive 2 to positive 4. Now let's discuss the increasing and decreasing rates. For those, I'm going to put back my mins and max points. But to figure out the rates, I want to first identify points of inflection points of inflection will occur in between my max and min points. So I have one at about x equals negative 0 0.5. I have another one at about x equals 3. And that looks to be it. So then let's look at what we have. Up until my first point of inflection, I can see that the graph is concave up, which means the next section should be concave down in between my two points of inflection. And the third section is concave up. So I have an increasing rate where I'm concave up, which is from negative infinity to negative 0 0.5, and then again from 3 to positive infinity. And I have a decreasing rate, or concave down, everywhere else. So negative 0 0.5 to positive 3. And that's my final answer. If I wanted to, I could have asked you to go ahead and just label each section as increasing at an increasing rate, increasing at a decreasing, and so on, in which case you would mark all, the, all of those important points, the points of inflection, the min, the maxes, I would see that the first section, so up until my first important point, we're decreasing at an increasing rate. My next section is increasing at an increasing rate. Then I'm increasing at a decreasing rate. Let's see, this section is decreasing at a decreasing rate. 